All right, stop by the flip this morning. Noah got all the demo done last week, so the floors are looking pretty good. Was it a pain getting up all the staples? Yes. <laughs> Sucks. Uh, yesterday, he mortised the doors. Is that right, Noah? Mortised the doors the, for the hinges? Yep. Um, and he did that using a rabbiting bit? bit? Yes. All right. And so today he's putting on the hinges and then he's going to get the doors hung. Drywall is going up today in here now that electric is done. And then all of this is getting drywall down here. So the ceiling and all of the walls. Originally, we were going to do a built-in bar here, but I think we've decided that the budget-friendly thing to do is to keep it a closet because storage space here is pretty limited and that would be cheaper. And then demoed all of the flooring here and the bathroom. So goal today after hanging the doors is going to be to demo the laundry room. Um, I have all the tile in my car, so we got to unload that so we can start that soon. And I want to figure out what I'm going to do with this little like bar. I think it would be super cool to do a hidden bookshelf right here. And then it opens up and then it's still like a bar, um, maybe some tile. I'd love to be able to just like reuse some of the stuff in here, clean it up because this is just like a bonus area. I don't want to spend a ton of money on it. And I've realized I haven't really shared any of our mood boards as far as what I'm thinking for the rooms. So the lower bathroom, we are going to be doing vinyl in here that's going throughout the house. Obviously, new toilet. We'll paint. We're going to tile this wall here, add a new light fixture, mirror, and then we're going to build a vanity. But I'll show you exactly what the mood board looks like so you have an idea. And then in here, as I mentioned, we're going to be drywalling everything. I want to do a new mantle or find a way to repurpose that one to be a color that I'd like. I'd like to be light tones. The wood in the vinyl in here is going to be a lighter wood. So I'd love for that to match. I am either going to whitewash the fireplace or I kind of think I'm going to whitewash it and then do a German smear like I did at my friend Carly's house for her backsplash. I love the look of that. I've talked about this space a little bit, but I'm gonna do some board and batten here. So when you first walk in, you have a place to be able to hang your purse or jackets. This closet, um, we're gonna do an arch and then we will have a cabinet here. So it's kind of extra storage, but also a place to drop your keys. Over here, we are gonna have two taller cabinets on either side and then we'll have a bench that goes there for a little eating nook, kitchen table, chandelier, and then refrigerator, dishwasher, trash pullout, sink on this back wall. And then we'll have a peninsula right here, um, bar stools on the front of that, and then some floating shelves over here. And then obviously the family room area. And then for this bathroom, obviously new tile. Um, I'm gonna do some hexagon tile down here, some subway tile in here that's super budget friendly, but we are gonna take the tile all the way up to the ceiling. And then I'm considering doing a fun little accent wall, similar to the one that we did on our own master bathroom there. And over here, we are gonna be doing a new vanity mirror light fixture. I'll show you exactly what the mood board looks like. So we have a budget for tile and it was super hard to keep everything within budget, but it's about knowing the neighborhood that you're flipping a house in and exactly how nice the finishes need to be. So, I couldn't do some of the things that I wanted to do. I wanted to do a marble on the floor that wasn't gonna fit our budget. So what I decided to do was this white ceramic hexagon tile. I think it's gonna look just as good. The vanity itself has marble on it. So I think this is gonna tie in pretty well. Then, as I mentioned, just doing a really budget-friendly subway tile in the shower, that will save us a ton of money. This is only 15 cents a tile, which is great. And then I did splurge a little bit for the kitchen because I think that matters. This is a um, marble tile. I love this pattern and we only need a little bit of it for the kitchen. So this did not put us over budget.